my left lung collapsed. I was on a on a heart machine. The doctor said to my wife, you must greet him because he's not going to make it to the morning. At that stage, all the family was found coming down to Cape Town to come and say bye-bye to me because they just said that they cannot do anything else for me and they don't know if I'm going to make it till the morning. So everybody was coming past my bed in ICU, giving me five good words and off they go. So that's like bye-bye forever. And my sister's husband since passed away came to me and he asked me the question that you should ask everybody in life. He said to me, Johan, if you die tonight, where are you going to? And I gave the three wrong words. I said, I don't know. <laughs> Which is not the right answer in life. And he says, well, in that case, we need to pray. And you don't pray to live, because that is not important. Because all of us is going to die. Everybody will die. It's important where you will go when you die. So I was just asking the Lord not to take me, not for me to go to hell. That was my prayer. I saw a guy in black robes and a staff like the devil who left and he was waiting for me and I had this unbelievable fear on myself I had this fear and when I got that fear I prayed unbelievable prayer I don't even know where I got the words from but I prayed I wasn't a prayer guy before really but every time when I pray and I say, praise the Lord, because He's mighty. I f it felt like somebody took my big toe and just squeezed it like this. And I can hear the words again, repeating. What I say gets repeated. And somebody squeezed my big toe. But at the same time, I hear on my right hand side this unbelievable laughter. You know, like, like laughter from hell. I hear that like hyena you know hyenas laughed like funny and I was praying every time I pray I hear I hear this but at the point in prayer it felt like when you take your child into the swimming pool and and he faces away from you and you took him under his arms like this and you pull him out of the water like this I felt as if somebody took me and pull me out of it like that. And the next moment, I was, I was on the clouds. I was in the clouds. I was like drifting on the clouds. I had total and utterly peace. Totally peace. And I looked up and I saw the clouds in a tunnel like this, up, like that, open. And when I woke up the next morning, I was bored with myself. I had no pain. I had no fever. My fever was like 41 and a half, 41.9 at some stages. And the first guy that I saw coming past me was a medical orderly. I said to him, come here. Because you see, when the Lord touches you, you cannot be quiet. <laughs> And I called him, I said, come here, I want to tell you something. And he said to me, what? I said to him, I spoke to the Lord last night. <laughs> he said to me, I know. I said, how did you know that? <sighs> he said to me, I was the guy that hit your toe. Every time he prayed, he prayed with me. 